Conrad Aiken was born in Savannah, Georgia on August 5th, 1889. He was the eldest son of Dr. William Aiken and Anna Potter. At the age of nine, Aiken decided to become a poet. In that same year, his father, a brilliant, unstable Harvard-trained physician and surgeon, had him witness an eye operation, a traumatic experience that recurs in his writings. But much worse followed. Early one morning at the age of 11, young Conrad Aiken woke to an early morning quarrel between his parents. Seconds later came a half-stifled scream and his father's voice counting to one, two, two loud pistol sounds. three. He tiptoed into the dark room where the two bodies lay motionless. The sight would possess him forever. Conrad was sent to live with his great-great-aunt in New Bedford, Massachusetts. He was raised by the sermons of his New Bedford grandfather, William James Potter, a rebel Unitarian minister who preached a religion free of dogma and open to Darwin and the new sciences. After Middlesex School in Concord, Aiken entered Harvard with William Lippmann, John Reed, Haywood Brown, and other luminaries of the famous class of 1911. A middling student in most things, Aiken devoted himself to his poetic apprenticeship, writing in various styles daily. Aiken graduated in 1912 and soon married Jesse McDonald, a Canadian. In 1914, Aiken published his first book, Earth Triumphant. When World War I broke out, Aiken was reportedly excused on the grounds that he was engaged in the essential industry of writing poetry. At the end of the 1920s, Aiken entered a period of intense psychological distress. He was divorced from his first wife in 1929, by whom he had three children. He remarried in 1930 to musician and journalist Clarice Lorenz. A few years later, he attempted suicide. Nevertheless, he produced what most regard as his largest achievement in poetry, the 159 preludes collected in Preludes to Memnon and Time in the Book. Aiken received the Guggenheim Fellowship in 1934 and was London correspondent to The New Yorker. He divorced his second wife in 1936 and married artist Mary Hoover in 1937, who he remained married to until his death in 1973. Conrad Aiken received several awards throughout his career, including the 1959 National Book Award, a Bollinger Prize in 1956, and the National Medal for Poetry in 1969. Conrad Aiken is the only poet to be named Poet Laureate in the state of Georgia twice. It was said that the existence of poets like Aiken makes poetry possible. A critic in the Times Literary Supplement wrote that Aikman was so central to American letters that he seems to have been taken for granted. He died in his home in Savannah, Georgia in 1973, where historical marker still stands. Conrad Aiken, a literary American hero.